Hello everyone. It has been a minute. It has been a minute since I vlogged and I'm supposed to be vlogging a bunch for Vlogtober. Uh, but frankly, I've just been busy. Been busy dealing with some family stuff, personal stuff. I've been busy trying to work and I've been busy doing personal projects. Painting things for Roman's classroom, working on his Halloween costume, and now the big focus for this week, it's a Tuesday and I'm starting and this is happening Friday, is a trunk or treat. Let's talk about it for a hot minute. Last year for Roman's trunk or treat, parents volunteer, they decorate their cars out. The cars are out in the parking lot, they have different themes. It's a very DIY sort of thing. Last year I did a Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters sort of theme. So it was like Buzz Lightyear and Zerg battling, but more specifically Astro Blasters from the ride from Disneyland. It was a big hit. It was a lot of fun and I put that whole thing together in about four days, which was crazy because it had so many pieces and elements and like full-size figures. Like I made a full-size like Buzz Lightyear and Zerg out of cardboard painted with aliens and a claw machine and like a whole thing and it's a contest. So last year I did win. I won the best car of Trunk or Treat. Well, here we are year two. Uh, this is at Rowan's preschool, so it's kind of my technically my last year because next year he'll be in kindergarten, so I won't get to do it again next year. So this year I was a little bit smarter in that I decided to do the theme of my trunk or treat, the same theme as Roman's birthday party in August. So I already have a lot of stuff painted. I have droids painted, I have some Ewoks painted, I have an Imperial Starship painted, I made all these little TIE fighters, I got all sorts of stuff made, which is great. It puts me ahead of the curve a little bit as far as like cardboard figures that I'm having to make. The big thing that I wanna create is what's gonna be hanging off of the side or the back of the trunk. Cause otherwise I just have all these random figures but I'm trying to create like a whole scene here. What I wanna try to do is build a giant at-at off the top of my car. So basically like the body of the at-at is like the tailgate of my car and then it's, its legs are sort of going down and you have to kind of go underneath the at-at to get to the treats in the car is what I'm trying to do. So it's kind of a lot. Um, kind of intense, pretty ambitious and it's a Tuesday and trunk or treat is on Friday. Can I pull this off? I do not know, but I am sure as hell gonna try. I've been stockpiling cardboard for several months. I literally have giant boxes that I've been storing in our back house that I'm gonna drag out here so that I can start to construct this giant ad at. That is what's in my brain. I'm hoping this comes to life the way that I think it will. I don't know. We shall see. So that is gonna be what we're really gonna be working on in this video, is building a giant ad at, or as the kids these days call it, an AT-AT. But let's be honest, it's an ad-at, okay? It's an ad-at. So that's what I'm gonna be working on, is that. Uh, this morning I took some time to work on filming a sketchbook club video for Patreon. It's my last like required video that I need to try to get done for this month. And I'm like, I normally don't wait this late to post that. That is a monthly video that is on my top tier. It's basically a sketchbook that I've just been working exclusively on Patreon and it's fully documented on video. So I'm trying to put, do that, work on that spread and get that done. Um, and that video at the same time. So I've been dabbling on that in between sort of gearing up to work on trunk or treat stuff right now. So that is what we're gonna do. And yesterday I sort of, I worked half the day and then took the rest of the day off or just I had a slower day yesterday because it was my birthday. So I was trying to just be chill and enjoy the day a little bit, but now clock is ticking. I don't have the luxury of time anymore. So birthday's over, it's time for trunk or treat. Quick update, as you saw, I got most of it constructed. The giant ad at is constructed. There's a few little extra things I need to add and whatnot, but I'm far enough along that I was able to construct the giant ad ad body, the head, the legs, figure out how I'm attaching it to my car, which was crucial because last year I didn't do a pre-setup on my car. I just had all the things and then tried to put it all together on the fly there and it was really, really stressful. This year I've wised up and I'm constructing it onto my car so that I am testing, you know, the assembly, 
putting it together, making sure I can handle the elements, wind and whatnot. I didn't account for wind last year. But this year I just feel like I'm really, really on it. So here's the ad at. We've got it constructed. It's good enough. I'm trying to just like, just keep going, not focus on details. I can detail paint it later. Just get it constructed. Um, so now that it's put together, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick primer. Um, just get a light coat of white primer on it. Uh, so that hopefully tomorrow I can continue into painting it. But the fact that I was able to construct this in just a few hours, legs, poles, attaching it, all that, um, is a miracle, a trunk or treat miracle. I'm gonna put a coat of spray paint on this bad boy and then I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot considering it's only Tuesday. Hello everyone. I come to you with a trunk or treat project update. I have paint all over my hands. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Let me start, I guess, first with the ad at. Let me show you where the ad at. The ad at's at. Okay, so here we go. I have painted it, I spray painted it, hand painted some extra outlines and details. That is the body of the ad at. Then over here we have the lower legs that go around uh, water bottles. So that is that. Over here we have the tops of them that will be like that. So I have the poles for the legs that will go through like that, which are over here. So we painted these guys, we, I say we, it's me. I painted, painted up these legs here uh, that will go attached. So this is the poles that go into the water bottles like so. Now this is the stuff I haven't shown you. This is the stuff that I created for Roman's birthday party that I'm reusing for this theme. Last year when I did Trunk or Treat, I made all of these the same week of Trunk or Treat, which was insane. So this was the year that I was like, I'm combining themes. Whatever Roman's birthday is in August is the Trunk or Treat that I'm gonna do in October. So here we are. So I haven't even really showed you these, but obviously we have an R2-D2. We have a Yoda. These are all just painted on paper and then mounted onto cardboard. And then Roman's really into droids, so there's a whole bunch of droids. We got a little battery droid, a chopper, um, all sorts of fun things. Let's see. BB-8, of course. And then I made some really haggard Ewoks. The Ewoks were a last minute thing that I did for his birthday, but if I'm parked next to a shrub, I'm gonna hide some of those guys in there. We've got an Imperial droid. I also have a sign. This was the sign by the cooler. It was a very loud bird. This was the sign that I made for Roman's birthday party, which I still might use, I don't know, because I may have a second car setting up with me. Uh, my mom, I'm bringing my parents with me to help me set up. They might also have their own car next to me, I don't know. And then I have a whole bunch of these like flags, like Batu flags that I may or may not use, I don't know. Again, all, we've got an Imperial flag. This was all, this was all stuff that I kind of did last minute. Then of course we have the Imperial starship there. So this is all stuff that is going to be mounted onto a, this is all stuff that's going to be mounted onto a background. Uh, I may or may not be creating a little light speed wall to shove into the trunk of my car. I just painted that black. So we'll see. This is a last minute. I have a little bit extra time. I might finish that. But this is what I'm using for the backgrounds to mount all the stuff on. And originally I was gonna make different backgrounds out of cardboard, and then I was like, why am I doing this to myself? I'm just gonna use my screens. That bird, my goodness. I was just gonna use my screens. One of my screens was all black and the other one was white. So I said, you know what? Rather than me making my own cardboard backgrounds, I will just paint my second screen black. So that is what I did. So these will be the panels that kind of open up on the side of my trunk, and then I will be able to mount things to it as needed. Of course, I'm bringing Roman's droid. I may or may not rig 
something to it so that kids can take stuff out of it. I might also just have him driving around. I don't know. Uh, water bottles for the legs. And then I have these as well. They're kind of falling apart. Let's see. Ah. And then I have these too, which I also made uh, for Roman's birthday party. So those might also get hung up. And then I also have all these crazy stars too. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. But thankfully, I'm so happy that this year I wised up and was making stuff for his birthday because I'm, I'm half of my decor is stuff that I already had made two months prior. So I did take the time to make them, but they're getting used twice. So this is maybe the smartest thing that I've ever done as far as making things because last year was insane how much stuff that I did. It was probably why I was so sick too. I was like unwell the entire month of October last year. But yeah, I'm just kind of letting some things dry and I'm actually gonna start to load up the car now because why not? Uh, tomorrow is trunk or treat, so tomorrow's the big day of getting it all put together. I've obviously put the ad ad on the top of the car. I don't know how anything else is gonna look yet. So we'll see, that's always the fun part, making all the things and then putting it together on site and I have two hours to put everything together and it is like the shortest two hours of my life. But yeah, I'm happy with how everything is shaping up thus far. Hopefully my vision will come to life tomorrow, I don't know. But so far so good. So just final touches on that little light speed wall thing that I'm making that will just go into the mouth of my trunk, I guess. And then I think that's about it because I'm also just tired. There's only so much that I can do here. I will do my best to capture trunk or treat footage but I don't know I don't know but that's how this vlog is gonna end is with trunk or treat video slash probably just some still pictures I would imagine so Hello, editing bun, coming in hot. Uh, coming in hot to update you on technically three things. First of all, I wanted to fill you in on the unfortunate news that I lost both the pumpkin decorating competition and the trunk or treat competition. I lost, completely lost. Listen, it's, uh, it's not lost on me that, you know, I have a bit of an advantage over other parents in that I am a professional artist, so. <laughs> <coughs> it is not lost on me that I have a bit of an upper hand in situations like this and a lot of these parents don't do these sort of creative projects like ever so I understand that I'm sort of how do I put this without sounding like a total it's not really an even playing field is I guess what I'm getting at so I had to really listen it was a hard pill to swallow because I'm very very competitive and because I won last year I really wanted to win this year to like keep my title but that was not the case and another family won, which is totally fine. Mine still should have won, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I'm letting it go. No, really, it's completely fine. I understand. Uh, same with the pumpkin too, you know. Again, I have, I have a very unfair advantage. And you know what else? It's a good learning lesson for me as my kiddo gets older. You know, the things that I make for Roman is gonna be a little different probably than what other people are doing. And I know some of you guys understand what it is that I'm trying to say because I think a few of you had even commented that on the last vlog about like the pumpkin painting that a lot of other parents would be scared to put their pumpkin next to mine or would be like, oh God, there's that woman's pumpkin. Like, I totally get it. It's fine. I just wanted to update you because I know a lot of you guys were curious about if I had won the pumpkin competition or trunk or treat. I lost them both. Defeated across the board. This is fine. So that was the two two updates. Uh, the last update is just in regards to Vlogtober in general. This was the last of the vlogs that I had filmed in October for YouTube. So it kind of just puts a bow on Vlogtober. Honestly, it was a good learning experience for me because I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do Vlogmas in December. And I think I'm gonna do kind of what I did for Vlogtober, which is like, I'll do some extra vlogs for YouTube and extra 
exclusive ones for Patreon. I'll just kind of decide as each day goes by where those videos sort of end up and not really put that pressure on myself to have to do it every single day. Um, because frankly, also who has the time to watch daily videos? Am I right? Like I know like if some of my favorite vloggers started doing daily videos, I feel like I would really struggle in just like keeping up with it. So that said, this is the last of the Vlogtober videos. Again, more vlogs will return in December when I do it again for, vl uh, Vlogmas. I'm getting myself confused with all these vlogs here. If you like these sort of vlogs, this is the kind of video content that I do over on Patreon. I put out a lot of videos over there. It's like, it's crazy. So if you're looking for more vlog content, videos to binge watch, art inspiration, art with me, planner stuff, junk journaling stuff, art journaling stuff, sketchbook stuff, uh, there's just loads over there on Patreon. Um, and keep in mind, you just join for a month, you get access to previous stuff. So you can binge watch as much as you want and then dip out if you're not liking it. I also recently updated my Patreon to an annual subscription option also. So if you wanted to like treat yourself this holiday season and do a year's worth on Patreon, there is a bit of a discount. Just saying, it's another another thing. I just turned that on on my Patreon, so just letting you know. But yeah, that all said, I am gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for watching along during just all of Vlogtober in general. Normal weekly YouTube videos will resume. I have several kind of in the queue waiting to be edited. An Oracle unboxing, a October reading vlog, a birthday book haul video, all sorts of really fun videos coming to YouTube. Um, and then of course, vlogs will resume uh, in December for Vlogmas, outside of studio vlogs. Studio vlogs is a thing. That, that That's a normal thing around here. You guys know that. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you've lasted this far through this crazy ramble here. I appreciate you just watching and liking and commenting. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out a new video every week. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.